Hello again, Andy with HandyAndyHome.com and welcome back to yet another run through. This one, we're gonna be working for a homeowner over in the Canton area and she's getting ready to list this amazing little house. It's not a little house, a big house on a little over an acre lot. Uh, so we're doing some pre-listing repairs for her so her agent can go ahead and get it listed up. So we're just gonna run through a few of the things here. She's made some repairs over time and this is one of those houses where this is LP siding. And what she's done over the years that she's been here She's actually hand painted the siding and that's why it looks as good as it does. When you go down these edges, you'll see most of them are pretty tight all the way through. She's got a few pieces here and there that are gonna need to replace them. It may come up on an inspection report uh, and we can show you that when we get around to it. But you'll see stuff like here, her contractor replaced a whole row with hardy plank. But as you move up the field, they replaced the piece up here and they didn't replace the siding next to it. So you'll see the different dimensions. See how that siding's sticking out a little bit right there? That's why. And so what ends up happening is those pieces will start to rot and you'll see some of that on the back maybe but that's not part of the scope of repairs for this job on this job we're going to come into this garage over here and you hear me talk about flashing all the time and so this you can see a little bit of flashing here but see the top edge here it's non-existent then it cuts in and you can see how rotted this whole piece is so this two by eight underneath here all the way across my brother and the boys will replace that and then we've got another piece of rotted two by eight right here on this corner and then on the left side down here see the rot in the frame the two by eight frame and the little casing piece there and then she's got the same thing over on this right side right here so the boys will fix that up and then we'll come around to the front of the house and like i said this homeowner stayed up on her house which is great but now that she's selling it um it's time to to make some of these repairs and what you want to do if you're a homeowner listing for repairs you want to go ahead and just get the house cleaned up get any rot dealt with now so like here on the right side of this front bay you can see it now is the right side nose on the first floor level and on the second floor we'll catch it coming around the other way and there's her little her happy little dog in the window there so we don't want to over excite that little watchdog and then so as you come to the center of the bay You'll see the wrinkling of the wood that we talk about so much on this brick mold and the frame behind it you can see the rot and then same thing left side here and the frame and then if you go on the second story of this bay window you're going to have the same issue right here right mold right mold left mold and frame and then on the left panel we've got a piece of right mold here and then we've got a piece of right mold here on the left panel of the bay uh, and that'll take care of it now so all we're trying to do on this job is get it set up so she can get it listed for sale on this window to the right of the chimney on the left side of the house you'll see it a little bit closer here see the rot that we started talking about see how soft that is i can push my finger right through it and part of it is because the painters that were here the last time didn't caulk in this area right here and so you got to stay up on top of that stuff if you do you know ben franklin said it best an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure and that's really what you want to try to get in here and do uh, same thing here on this window the window to the left of the chimney. We got a little bit of rot here See on the left side see it give it's So soft see in the soft edge right here So we'll fix that as well on this window back here It hasn't rotted out, but the boys are gonna caulk it. This is the window right at the deck area right here This poor soul had some issues with a septic tank that's located underneath this deck So the boys are just gonna re-nail this decking in this area right here for her and then the French door has a lot, a lot of rot to it. The center right here, we'll piece it in and repair that. And we've got rot on the left side frame and trim and right side frame and trim and brick mold. And then the way they built this deck, we just need to put a, a small trim piece up underneath this threshold and seal it so she won't have any more issues there. Um, and that'll take care of this little area right here. And then we're not gonna be able to see it too well. Maybe I can catch it from here there's a second story window up here it's this window right here um, yeah I believe it's that one it's the far left one over here we've got rotted sill in the right corner and we've got rotted brick mold on either side um, she had another contractor caulk it up and they just did a terrible job of it so the wood ended up rotting out so we'll repair that for her and then when the boys are here they can go ahead and some of these windows on this side right here they've never been caulked so we can just go ahead and clear caulk this stuff for her um, that way it'll pass inspection 
on the right side of the house, right up against the garage up here, we've got a rod uh, five quarter board. Yeah, it's actually a five quarter board here uh, by four inches. And so they'll piece that in with an angle cut and that'll pretty much take the guys through this particular job. And once she gets the house sold, she'll be like a lot of our other customers. She, her agent will send us the inspection amendment and the report. We'll go ahead and bid those repairs so they can close out the deal and she can get on to another house. We have a lot of customers like this who've lived in a home a long time. This woman's taken phenomenal care of this home. There's other items obviously on this home that we could fix right now, but all we want to do when we're listing the house for sale is minimize the repairs so we can go ahead and get a contract and then after that negotiate away whatever's left and get the house sold. Uh, the reality of this stuff is when you're listing a house and we have some customers, they want to fix everything, including this lady, and we talk her out of some things, uh, but some of my customers, they don't care. They're not on a budget. They'll spend whatever they want to spend. But the reality is if you come into your house and you fix every single little thing, the, the home inspector is going to dig and find something else. There's always going to be something. So a lot of times when we're listing a house like this for sale, you want to take care of any rotted wood, any major electrical, any major plumbing, go ahead and get it knocked out. Any major roof repairs, get it knocked out. The rest of it, leave it for an inspector and it, it'll be easier for us to take care of it on the flip side. I'm Andy with HandyAndyHome.com. You can catch us at 770-912-2829. Serving Metro Atlanta for over 25 years now. Welcome to our family. Uh, you just have to be a little patient with us. We do get covered up. Uh, we're a small band of workers, but we're looking to expand. So if you know people that love this business and they're looking to get put into business, have them call us, have them contact us. You can also catch us at HandyAndyFixedIt at gmail.com. Take care, and I'll see you at the next house. Bye for now.